Yeah, what's your trial? Okay, you be back with another match. You know, can't today we got the creature in the woods. Well, you know what it makes you like? Comment. Thank you, Richard. How's it going? Creature in the woods. Spooky. This happened to me when I was in fourth grade. Damn. I used to visit my grandma on a summer vacation. It was a fairly large house with two floors and multiple sheds here and there. In the back of the house, there were these woods near one of the sheds. Okay. As a kid, I used to travel through these woods from time to time as I liked staying there with the trees and the birds. I know it's weird, but I looked for fossils as well as hoping to find some dinosaurs or something. One day I was digging Damn. and I found a head that's of a... something that looked like a bull. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, I a bull. I found something like an old species of bison or something and rushed to my grandmother. I told her of my discovery and she said it was just a bull that died years ago. I then asked Damn. why it was there and she said people used to bury their dead animals there and it acted like some sort of pet cemetery. I was kind of disappointed, but I still kept the skull because I found it to be really cool. All right. My grandmother said to throw it away, but I hid it in the shed near those woods thinking it would be safe there. I then returned the next day, hoping to find more skeletons. You're I weird. I found skulls of Nigga, this was... Yeah, all right. You got it, and bro. And some unidentifiable bones. I used to store them in the shed near the woods. One time... That's so creepy. ...in the woods looking for such finds. Moving past a fence I found, I began roaming and lost my way. I knew my grandma Nigga, this all in grade four? ...and she wouldn't be home. I was so scared, and night was approaching. The only things I had with me was a hand shovel, a bag, and a small torch. I was moving as fast as I could, trying my best to find Assuming my Assuming the torch is a fast, right? I was walking through the forest, I saw a shadow of something that looked like a deer with large antlers. But something was odd about it. It didn't seem to move, even after seeing me. Usually, deer run away after they see someone, and I was surprised that it didn't. Suddenly, it turned to me, with its glowing bright eyes. And then to my horror, I noticed it didn't have the body of a deer. It was something else entirely. It had the legs of what seemed like a dog with paws and the body with human-like features. I couldn't see any fur. Instead, I saw skin, rotting skin with dry blood and maggots. I slowly backed away from that thing and to my surprise, it charged at me with a loud- and That was your, su your surprise? I any aim through the thick woods with that thing right behind me with its glowing eyes and disproportionate body. I ran- Yeah, you better be the next fucking skull, nigga. Right? ...on every ledge until I saw the light of home. I opened the back door and stormed in, closing the door behind me. So I was when you go I fucking- through a semi-visible window on the door to see that creature attempting to move up the stairs near the woods to my house. But it stopped midway, turning its bulky head here and there, and then left. So I was when you go fucking exploring your shit. Hind legs, like that of a gorilla. I ran to my grandma's room, and she asked me where I was all this time and that she was worried about me. I kept quiet, and I lied that I was just around the backyard, and she warned me not to go in the woods without her accompanying me. The very next day, I went to go check those skulls I had collected in the shed near the woods to throw them away, as I thought this creature had something to do with those bones, but they were already gone. I still wonder to this day what that creature was and what it wanted with me. You niggas just be too damn exploration or...